Hey kids, my name's Tom Bancroft, and today we're gonna do a how to draw, and this is for the character of the Chancellor. And he's kind of the pseudo villain in the More is More episode, where he's not a bad guy, but he is kind of messed up and needs some help. And so the penguins come and kind of help him out. So to start drawing, we always start with shapes, and then we'll add details as we go. So first for his head, it's basically a little circle. We'll start with that. And then we add on top of that kind of an oval shape. And really we're gonna connect those shapes into basically a, a kind of a fat kidney bean shape. So it kind of goes in on this side a little bit and out on that side. And that's gonna end up being our head. Then we add the body and we really just wanna kind of rough out what his shape is. And this is kind of, basically it's just a, a big oval. And again, it becomes sort of a kidney shape when you add the head to it. So I like to think of the, the whole shape body and head together. And then we go back up to this little circle of the, of the head and we're gonna start adding the extra details of the face. So he's got one eye, so basically we just put an oval up there right about at the middle of this little circle. He's got kind of a big one eye. And then he's got a little pig nose, so that is a triangle, kind of a rounded triangle shape that we're gonna stick just basically because it's a three-quarter view of his body and his face. So we kind of stick it just off to the right here so it's sticking out a little bit. Off that comes a little curve that's going to be his smile and the bottom of his snout. And then we're going to go back down here and start adding the rest of his um, appendages. And so we have an arm that is kind of a, it's a little straighter on one side and a little more curved on another side. So right about here and right around over here. This one's gonna be a little short, short arm kind of coming off this way with his hand. We'll just draw it as a ball right now, but that'll be one hand over here and this will be another hand over here. And then we're gonna add the legs. He's got very short kind of squatty legs. And so basically they're kind of like an animal, like a, a cartoon pig or something. He's got these little squatty legs with tiny, basically little flat feet here. And then we're gonna add the other foot over here. Very flat on the bottom and round on the top. Flat on the bottom, round on the top on both feet. And then he does have, we'll start to indicate it a little bit, he has a little bit of a curly tail, just like a little pig's tail back here. So that's just a couple oval shapes on top of each other. And then the hat. So the hat is basically, uh, it's an, another oval that wraps around his head. And that's gonna be the brim of the hat. And then we have, coming off that, kind of a tube shape. And that's gonna be the top of the hat. He's, it's basically a big top hat. And he's got another little oval here. That's the band that goes around that top hat. So now we kind of really got the basics of his body Let's add the details of his outfit that he's wearing, his costume, which is, he's the mayor, so it's a little bit ceremonial. He's got this kind of um, sash that goes around his body. And look how I'm drawing through all the lines. You're seeing a bunch of lines drawn through. That really helps us to kind of create uh, dimension so that we're drawing through shapes. We know where they start and stop, even if there's an arm in the way. It's got a little circular pin here. It looks like a sun, basically. With another circle inside of that. And then he's got uh, a V shape here. So remember, this is the three quarter shot here. So the point would be right about here. So it's just a line and a line. And then likewise, another line here and another line here that's gonna be the bottom of his vest. You don't see the bottom over here that much, but you see it over here. And then he's got a little bow tie right here. And that just looks kind of like a butterfly with a big circle in the middle. So now we've got the rough outline of what our character is going to be. Now let's start adding a few of the details. Um, first off, and the, one of the most important things to really start the character to look, come, kind of come, to, come alive, is the pupil on his eye. And again, that's just another circular kind of oval shape. And it's a pretty big eye. So I'll start darkening in where that goes, in the, the pupil goes inside that eye. He's got another 
two circles inside there. The little tiny circle is a highlight, and the bigger circle in there is the pupil. And then we're going to draw his nose. Remember, it's, a, it's kind of a rounded triangle. So we're going to kind of add the detail to that. Within that rounded triangle, if you cut it in half with a little line there, on both sides of that line, you're going to add two ovals. And those ovals are going to be his nostrils. And you can kind of darken in just the, to the left side of that. And it makes it look like they are kind of have depth. And then we're going to start figuring out the rest of his snout that goes into his smile. And that's just a curve underneath there. And another curve on top of here makes it look like he's happy. Off that is kind of a, a different color down here. And we'll shade that in in a second. So that's what, what, what that line is. Um, here's just the other side of his cheek, nice and round because he's fat. And then off here, we add some more roundness here. He's just a round, kind of happy character. And again, up here, add a little, you know, a little wrinkle here. You just add a little bump there, and it looks like it's kind of bent. Color that in, shade that in. Maybe shade this in, because that's the inside of that hat. And then go back down here. Now let's add a little wrinkle in here. All you do is just a little curved line, and another curved line and it makes it look like it's got a little wrinkle in the bow tie. It's all these little details that kind of help make it feel right. Again, here we're adding just this triangle shape here to kind of define where his shirt and his, his uh, jacket start. And go back up here. Remember, it's got a pin on the sash that looks kind of like a sun with a circle inside, so it has these little jaggedy points, little triangle shapes that go around it. Just to make him look a little bit more spacey, he's got these kind of uh, circular oval shapes that kind of go around his, his arms. So we'll add it on both sides of the, where his arm connects right at his shoulder. And then we're going to do his arm here. Again, it's just a big kind of a curvy uh, shape. And then his jacket is kind of too short for him, so it, it stops way up here and even has um, you know, a couple other lines here because that, that's gold and that's black. So we'll shade this in just so you can kind of see how that looks. And this is all shaded in here. And then this is the other part of that vest. We're going to add the really define this big belly he's got here. He's got a little vest sticking out here. OK, let's put in that other arm over here. And again, remember, it, it's too short for him. So we stop it there. There's just a little curved thumb here and another curve on his hand. Show his big kind of chubby hands that he's got. And same with here, a little curved thumb. And then we're going to break off um, two fingers. He's only got two fingers and a thumb. So big th finger here and another big finger here. And there's the thumb. And they're just basically kind of little sausages, really, big, thick sausages. And then we're going to do his legs here. Kind of his bottom goes right into his leg shape. Flat on the bottom. And then these three, three lines here, or two lines that kind of separate the three feet. And then do it again over here. One, two, three. And then we're going to go back here and finish off the, the jacket. Again, it's kind of like a tuxedo, so it hangs down a little bit in the back. So we'll shade that in. And then add his tail, which just looks like kind of a, like a tasty freeze ice cream cone or something, like soft serve ice cream on the back here. And it's supposed to look like kind of like a curled up pig's tail. So if you're at home and you want to color this in right now, it's a good time to do that where you can make him blue or green. You can actually make him any color you want because he's an alien character, orange. But usually this is a little bit lighter color here. And then this might be a medium color here. So if this is a light orange, that could be a me medium orange. And then this might be a little bit darker orange. So 
So I'll shade it in a little bit just so you can see that that's supposed to be a little bit darker. And that's supposed to be just a little bit lighter than that. So this is the black and white version of him, but you can kind of see that, um, and even on his belly, he's got a little bit of a circle here that is a little bit lighter. And then the rest of this is just that same kind of medium tone color that you put in here. So if you do that, say a light green, then this is gonna be the same color all through here for the rest of his skin. And that's the Chancellor from More is More. And thank you very much, and hope you enjoy the rest of the 321 Penguins.